you have seen this line string s equals new string with the value abc in quotes so how many string objects are created here the answer is two let's walk through exactly why first take a look at the abc part inside the constructor in java this is a string literal and all string literals are stored in something called the string constant pool it's a special memory area used by the jvm to avoid creating duplicate strings so when the compiler sees abc it checks the string constant pool if abc is not already there it adds it that's the first object stored in the string constant pool this object is shared and reused whenever a bc appears in your code that's why java uses a string constant pool to save memory and improve performance even if you call abc in 10 different places using string literals java only creates one object in the string constant pool this step happens at compile time or class loading time now let's look at the second part new string with the value abc in quotes this tells java to create a new string object using the value of the abc literal from the string constant pool this happens at runtime not compile time so even though abc already exists in the string constant pool this code explicitly creates a new copy of it stored on the heap this object is different from the one in the string constant pool it has the same value abc but it's a new instance created with the new keyword java allows this but it's almost never necessary in total you now have one object in the string constant pool from the string literal one object in the heap from new keyword so the final answer is two string objects